Happy Halloween, everybody. We have made it to the end of the month of October, which means we are really close to the end of the year. And it also means it's time for another Blu-ray haul. I got some nice pickups this month, not a ton, but uh, not a small number either. And with that said, let's get started. Kicking it off, pretty safe pick for, pick up for me, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Obviously, uh, I, I kind of cover the Marvel stuff quite a bit, so this was uh, one I definitely needed to pick up. But more importantly, my wife hadn't seen it yet. Uh, I went to go see it, I got to take my son to go see it, and then my wife was very pregnant at the time, so she didn't end up seeing it. So that was kind of fun to get to, to watch that one with her and my daughter as well. So the whole family has now seen Ant-Man and the Wasp. So that was our first pick of the month. Next up, I picked up a few movies in hopes of being able to do a Damien Chazelle uh, ranking video which didn't happen. So first one up, I got Whiplash. I, I mean, I've seen it several times, but I didn't own it. So I was like, this is the perfect opportunity to rewatch all these and uh, talk about them. And then, you know, with my ranking video that was, like I said, never happened. But so picked up Whiplash. Uh, yeah, I, I love this movie. Just such a nicely crafted movie. A movie that you, I would never think I would be interested in. If you told me the premise, like there's this competitive drummer with a mean teacher, and it's like a really good movie. I'd be like, I think I'll pass on that one. And then you watch it and the way it's constructed in this exploration of the obsession and people that get locked in on what success looks like and put so much worth into it. Fascinating, fascinating film. It seems to be a recurring theme in uh, the movies of Damien Chazelle. But so, uh, picked that one up, watched it, and um, have done nothing with that. As of yet, next one I picked up, uh, following in that tradition, would be La La Land, his follow-up film to Whiplash, that in his own way tackles a lot of the exact same themes. It's about people that are chasing to be successful, that they have a passion and they're willing to pay the cost in pursuing it. And you watch kind of a love story and all the things that go along with that as two people in two different fields in the same city chasing success and perfection and being the best that they can be. And what all that looks like, art as a form and art as should you sell out, all sorts of interesting concepts that tie once again into similarly what Whiplash was about. And so we were going to, or we, I'm, there's one of me. Uh, I was going to do a ranking of the Damien Chazelle movies. I had plans to go with my wife opening night to go see First Man. And I mean, everything was locked up. Our kids were taken care of. Everything was set up so that we could watch the movie. And then my brother-in-law's wife had to go and have a baby. And so all of a sudden, got to go see the new baby. So it was a very exciting time. We had a, obviously had a baby about six weeks ago. And then right at about one month later, they had a baby, which is fun to kind of have two babies that are um, right next to each other in, in age. And it was funny is that our baby's a month old, but their newborn weighs more than, or I guess ours is a newborn too, but their right out of the womb baby weighed more than our month old baby and our baby wasn't like light or anything or earlier it wasn't anything like that just their baby was that big which is a lot of fun uh, the way that all uh, life works out but that's the reason that i didn't have a review for first man and it's also the reason that i did not uh rank bad boy damien chazelle's movies i haven't seen first man yet it just didn't work out because um date night got messed up and then kind of my scheduling and everything I, I just haven't seen it yet and some of the appeal to rush out to go see it got lost because i heard from a lot of people that are uh, more in line with my taste that uh, had some problems with it even people that were big jamie and chazelle fans for his previous films too i also know a lot of people that love it so i really need to go see that one it just just hasn't worked out yet. Next one that I purchased was La La Land. Um, I picked this one up in order to do a Damien Chazelle ranking and on sale at the same time was Copland. Super cheap, so I picked up Copland. And then in the mail, they also sent me a second copy of Copland. <laughs> and so uh, yeah, apparently when you order off of uh, Amazon, occasionally oopsies happen and you end up with extra copies. So uh, I guess I'm supposed to return um, these two bad Mamba Jambas right here. But as of yet, I haven't done that because, as I've mentioned, I've been kind of busy and uh, life just hasn't allowed that to happen yet. But there they are, my extra copies. And part of the reason why at first glance, it seems like I got a pretty good number of movies this month. And then when you look at it, you go, oh, no, I got two copies of these. Uh, doesn't really count, I don't think. And so 
there you have it. Um, as I actually can talk about Copland real quick. Um, this is from, if you haven't seen this one, it's from James Mangold back in the 20 years ago, back in the late nineties, a great little film um, about uh, is a small town cop taking on some New York city police officers. Stallone put on a bunch of just weight is it just fat for the role kind of went against his entire type in the film. Really good little film showing the potential that James Mangold had that he's, you know, demonstrated multiple times over the last well since that movie came out next up um picked up this guy right here with some of those uh the one i was actually picking it up for this guy right here freddy vs jason i don't think that there's an individual release for this movie and so then i picked this one up to kind of fill my collection i already rendered it off of voodoo to watch it i was like oh man if only i had seen this a couple days sooner but being that having this blue version of the blu-ray is better than having to hunt down a 30 dollar version or something like that since this was only like 12 bucks or something like that at Best Buy. Best Buy has a bunch of things like this where I live where it's like three movies on Blu-ray and I don't like the packaging, but you get the movie cheap and so that'll work for me. And my last pickup of the month, which is also another way in which I got a bunch of movies while not getting that many individual things in a different sense, I got the 10 disc Halloween set so that I could rewatch them in preparation for my ranking that I did a couple days ago or a week ago. Time keeps flying by. so. Bought this one at the beginning of the month and then uh, spent like 10, well, 10 days straight every night watching a new Halloween movie um, in preparation. I actually started on the Friday the 13th movies like two months ago. So like I started working in, like in advance on that one. Halloween, it was like I just binged watched the entire series leading up to the new release. And anyway, there you have it. There's uh, this week's release or this month's purchases that I picked up. Also, just as a fun fact, I'm heading off to Austin Film Festival tonight. Hopefully I'll be able to get into the movie The Favorite with Emma Stone in it. So that'll be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out that playlist somewhere over there with my other Blu-ray haul videos. Some people keep asking if I'll ever do a full collection. I'm going to do that in January. Thank you guys so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.